What's up, Capricorn? So this is going to be your bonus read for the month of December. Um, thank you guys for being patient. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and tuning into my channel, subscribing, liking, commenting. I really appreciate it, guys. I am forever grateful for you guys. Um, and let's see what's coming in for you guys. This could be for the remainder of December or for the somewhere in the near future. Um, so if it doesn't resonate, if you don't feel it resonates for you right now, that's all right. Um, it may come in the future, okay? This could be predictions for what's to come. All right, Capricorn. Let's see, what's this? The zebra try to come out. The zebra talks about very unique energy, um, following the beat of your own drum, making your own rules. Um, you know, a, an individual, someone who's very independent, could be very bold, you know, could be very creative. And people may look at you as like being very beautiful, very um, like attractive, you know, magnetic. Let's see what comes out for you guys. Capricorn. Um, I should be starting the um, January monthly readings uh, either next week or the last week of December. All right, so you have the praying mantis, uh, which speaks about um, strategy, being still, thinking about how your choices may affect others around you, and trying to release control, being patient. That could be you or your person feeling like that. Praying mantis gives me earthy, gives me earthy vibes, you know, like a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I get strong Virgo with that card. So you guys may have Virgo in your chart, maybe dealing with a Virgo. All right, let's see. Oh, we have the lion. You could even be dealing with the Leo. The lion came out, fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, very author authoritative uh, or authoritative, one or the other, you know what I mean. Like basically a boss, you know, bossy person. Someone who has a role of being a boss. Um, having a legacy, a leader, very passionate, very courageous, and has a lot of pride. Um, this could be you or your person. And then as far as mutual energy, we have the whale. So the whale always, you know, is very like deep emotions, uh, having a fear of facing like a very deep um, dynamic. You know, someone may be scared of how deep the love for you or this could be you, how, the, how deep the love goes. Um, and there, you know, it, there's a lot of fear be surrounding that because they're like, wow, I, I, I'm really into this Capricorn or this could be you Cap, you know, feeling like this. So water, fire and earth I'm getting here. Um, someone may be, you know, being very proud because of their fear of how deep they may feel about you, you know. It's like they're moving very calculated, like they're trying to figure out a strategy, you know, of how to move forward when it comes to you. Or maybe you guys are, you know, being very calculated because you feel like this person, you know, yeah, I think, I feel like they have deep feelings for me, but they're not letting it be known. You know what I'm saying? They're not showing that side to me. So you guys could even feel very, like, proud, you know, and very authoritative, like, and I don't mean authoritative with this person, but like authoritative with your own heart, you know, like, well, if you're not going to give me what I deserve, like, I'm not going to stoop to your level. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to meet you where you're at. You need to come meet me where I'm at. Be open with me. If you're, if you're looking to get to know me, if you're looking to start a relationship with me, you know, speak up. You know what I'm saying? None of that little flirty stuff where like I have to figure it out like oh snap he liked my fic my picture on Instagram now you gotta figure it out does that mean he likes me is he trying to flirt with me don't nobody got time for math you know what I'm saying we're not we're not math magicians here you say you let your intention be known that should be killing me oh I need to stop talking like that because 
YouTube is gonna block my damn channel. Um, but yeah, that be killing me. How people are so like, if you feel if you like somebody and you feel like there's potential there, all you gotta do. The worst thing that could happen is that the person is not into you. Okay, you move on. There's billions of people in the world. The hell, who got time for that? You have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Yeah, that gives me, you know what that gives me? That gives me the feeling that someone is realizing that that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Not wanting to open up about how deep they feel about you. The deep feelings they have for you. They're like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just have to just go in for the kill. Because Capricorn is not, it's not, they're not seeing all the little things that I'm doing to get their attention. You know, to make them see that, hey, I like you, Capricorn. I think you're cute. I think you're beautiful. I think you have potential. So they're going to have to open up their mouth. <laughs> you have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. And on the bottom of the deck, you have star seed. What lights you up? What lights you up, um, Capricorn? What lights you up? What lights me up is when people are clear. When people are clear, adults and, you know, like, what are we doing? Because all that little game bullshit, who got time for that? Ain't nobody getting younger here. We're getting older. Say what you want, mean what you say, and say what you mean. You know what I mean? Nobody got time for playing games, like in photos and, and sending little little cute messages, but don't got the balls to just say, hey, you know what? I like you. Are you in a relationship? My intention towards you is to get to know you. We don't have to jump into a relationship, but... I would like to be friends, you know? I would like to see where this could go. People are just so scared nowadays. So much pride. Pride? Like, proud of what? I don't understand. Anyway, let me stop rambling. Sorry, Capricorn. Let's see what I get. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm hot today. <laughs> Ooh, you got partying. Time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. All right, Caps, you go get it. Go get it with your single self. Living in the moment. Enjoying life. Okay. I like that. Seduction. Uh-oh. Just be careful because there's going to be a lot of little thirst traps trying to throw themselves at you. <laughs> Unless that's you. If that's your thing, no judgment. Uh, you know, I'm not here to judge nobody. Um, you have attraction, teasing, hooking up, dating, third party, and temptation. You could even have someone who's already in a relationship who looks at you like, damn, that Capricorn look good. <laughs> I need to get to know that Capricorn. What's that Capricorn name? Yeah, I know I got a girl. Yeah, I know I got a man. I still I just want to know the name. Don't do that, Capricorn. Don't do that. All right. Yeah, you're looking very tempting to someone. Someone looks at you like, wow, that Capricorn got it going on. You got the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. Maybe you're running away from someone who you just, you know, you're not into it no more. Or running away from someone who was fear of intimacy, who was scared of their feelings for you, who didn't know how to show you their true, you know, feelings. Because they were so proud. Or someone may view you as being a runner. Oh, you have the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelations, honor, protection, and determination. Oh, God. We have the snake on the bottom of the deck. Competition, enemy, the other woman. Look over your shoulder. You know what I got with that card when I saw it? I got, like, if you're going out and you're partying and there's a lot of different people, whatever... Someone, a guy, a woman, whatever, they may be there with their partner, with their boyfriend, with their girlfriend, and they looking at you like a threat. Like they see you, you know, living it up, dancing, just being full of light energy, being cool, you know, having, having um, very high vibrational. And they looking at you like, oh no, you know, like hating on you, but also scared that like their partner is going to be interested in you. I mean, come on. We can't all be a Capricorn, right? <laughs> all 
right, let's see what I get. And just be careful because there's a lot of a lot of friends nowadays who like to disguise them. Um, a lot of enemies who like to disguise themselves as friends, like to dis disguise themselves as wanting the best of intentions towards you. Meanwhile, they be secretly wishing everything just falls through for you. So be careful with that, Capricorn. You may be rising above, you may be ascending, you may be, a lot of good things may be happening in your life right now, and you can have people who are watching that happen for you, and they don't like it. So just be careful, could be family, friends, even a lover. All right, Cappies, let's see. Oh, that's great. Seven of Swords, first card out. <laughs> the Devil, oh my God. Capricorn, another Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. The Knight of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Oh my God, the Nine of Swords. Jeez, what type of spread is this, y'all? What the is going on? What is this? What the F is this? deception um this could even be uh toxicities uh fear taking over with that whale energy a lot of fear a lot of toxicity there's a, a heavy toxic situation i'm getting here someone maybe who has lied in the past has deceived you in the past this could even be you capricorn you know this could go vice versa so i'm not trying to single nobody out but someone who has deceived the other person in the past or who has you know been sneaky in the past who has withheld held information in the past is now trying to come in with some sort of sweet gesture you know uh, offer and the other person is like wait up hold up you know what i'm saying wait all right but yeah <laughs> somebody is like hold on a second can i trust this because this has this, you know, this is not looking like um, something I could trust, especially given the history with that person. Um, someone may even have like nightmares at night. You have two very dark energies here. Look at this. You have the devil and the nine of swords. Maybe someone slipped up and made a wrong choice, made a bad decision. And now they, they going through it. If I'm like, shit, Capricorn about to leave me. What am I going to do? I'm going to clarify these cards, but that thing not looking too good. That's like a lot of dark energy. Someone is definitely going through a either a dark night of the soul or like some dark, very depressed energy. They feel stuck. They feel they could even go suffer addictions, have addiction issues, addicted to smoking, addicted to having sex, addicted to attention could be anything someone is wanting to you know end whatever this craziness is is, is about here <laughs> someone is, is maybe wanting to end it because they're like listen this person is driving me fucking crazy <laughs> someone may even just feel like like there could be other people trying to get to know you and you're just blocking them out because you're right now in a place that you just went through a lot of toxic, uh, a, a very heavy toxic relationship. So right now you're just like, you know, taking it a day at a time, not really focusing on one person, like trying to start something new. You could even be about to travel. Um, there could be something new starting for you. Someone is definitely not wanting to let you go, Capricorn. With that four of pentacles, someone is like, wait a minute. I need to work. I need to work and show Capricorn that I've changed, that I'm better. Yeah, right. We're going to see right now if you change. We're going to see right now if you change. Right? Let's see. These cards are so slippery. Oh, my God. Show me the Seven of Swords. It looks like someone, a water sign, could be trying to come in to, like, you know, change the uh, 
circumstance for you, right? With that Knight of Cups, that's like the best energy throughout this whole spread is the Knight of Cups. A very romantic person. Could be an, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Is someone doing something they shouldn't be doing when it comes to work? Or maybe, you know, involved with someone at work. Meanwhile, they're in a relationship. Eight of Pentacles. Or someone is hiding the fact that, you know, maybe they don't have as much money as they say they have. Or someone doing some sneaky shit at work. I don't know. This is looking funny. Let me get another card for that. The Eight of Cups in Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. You got two eights here. That's a lot of karma. Saturn. Eight is the number of Saturn. Yep, someone who either you walked away from or who walked away from you is trying to come back in, showing you that they're changed, they this, they that, they're so much better. Meanwhile, they're the same mother... Look, with the devil on the bottom. They still have toxic tendencies. They have not changed. Don't fall for it, Capricorn. Please don't. Please don't. This person is not has not changed. This person is still the same. I'm trying to tell you they change. <laughs> Get out of here. You're right. Whoa. Show me the devil. The magician. What the? That is not good energy. That's somebody trying to do spell work. The magician with the devil, that is not good energy at all. It's like who, like this person is like, I'm not in a good energy. You know, right now I'm going through a lot. I want the same thing to happen to this person. Wishing you a lot of negativity with the strength card. But they don't know that you protected. They don't know that you are protected from the highest. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. You got the strength card with the star. Check me out. Who you trying to send negativity to? Get out of here with your weak shit. You ain't gonna touch me. What the hell? Who they thought? Who they thought they was messing with, Capricorn? Please tell me. Somebody trying to send you shade. Throw you shade. Get out of here. With the strength card. You protected, Capricorn. You are protected. The Queen of Swords, that's right. That's right. You go let these people know that you're not about that life and they should not be messing with things that they know nothing of. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody trying to delve into magic stuff, you know, like witch stuff. Or going to someone to, you know, wish you bad or like do a spell or do something. But they ain't gonna go far. I promise you that. So don't be scared, Capricorn. <laughs> don't be scared. You're going to be all right. I promise. She's not going to touch you. Show me the Knight of Cups. The King. That's beautiful. First off, you got the King of Pentacles coming through with that Knight of Cups. This could be a Taurus trying to offer you something. A Taurus with water in their chart or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with Taurus in their chart. Something like that. <clears throat> this person could have a lot going for them. They could... Be very financially stable but this person knows that there's a lot of competition for you capricorn with that five of wands oh shoot i'm telling you they, these cards i love the cards the illustrations on them but they are so slippery i cannot take it <clears throat> show me one more The Justice card, Libra energy. Do you guys have Libra in your chart? Hmm. Yep, that is your karma. That's whatever you put out, you get in back. So if you treat it, you know, if you treat people well or if you're doing right, you have a lot of righteous energy and you do the right thing, regardless, you know, not looking for it to just benefit you, but you just do what's right. You know what I'm saying? Whether even if that means that you're going to be out cold in the cold. If it's the right thing to do, that's what you're going to do. And because of that, you're about to get good karma coming in. Wow. And if you guys are going through legal issues, I get that it's going to be ruled in your favor. Capricorn. 
Whoa. <gasps> the Page of Wands try to flip out when I'm trying to clarify this Nine of Wands. You got two nines here. There could be a, this could be talking about an ending too. Like something coming to an end. You finally put your foot down. Let's see this Nine of Wands, the Knight of Swords. What is that? The Knight of Swords with the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Swords is not nice energy. That's the fastest moving knight. Um, maybe someone is scared to talk to you because they know that you're not trying to hear that shit. Look, with the Eight of Wands on the bottom. Like, you're not trying to hear that shit. You're upset. You've already spoken to them 10,000 times. They keep doing the same bullshit. You, you over it. You're done. You're done. You finish. Finito. Finito. Let me get one more. The three of pentacles. Yeah, because now they're trying to, like, work as a team. Now they're trying to provide you the love that you've been trying to receive from them for the longest time. Now they're trying to do an about face and show you. Yeah, because they don't want you starting nothing new. Wow, you have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords in between the Ace of Swords. So that's like, it talks about all new beginnings. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and then the Three of Swords in the middle. Yeah, it's like someone is like, I cannot let this Capricorn go. I can't let them get away from me. <laughs> that can't happen. Hell no. Because they know they're going to be broken hearted if they do. And they're not trying to deal with that. And if you have moved on to someone new, this person is heartbroken. Heartbroken. Like, that's what this is talking about with that Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands. They're looking at you like, wow, I really let that get away. That's crazy. The Three of Wands. Oh, you got the Hermit on the bottom. Remember I was saying Virgo energy earlier. You could be dealing with the Virgo, Caps. Or maybe a Virgo coming in. Or you could have been with a Virgo. And that's who you're walking away from. Yeah, I feel like, you know what I feel like, what I'm getting with this here? This Nine of Swords with the Three of uh, Wands. The Nine of Swords is, you know, anxiety, not being able to sleep, being very worried. And a lot of dark energy, a lot of heavy energy, right? But I feel like you guys might have gone through that period, like that phase of crying at night, you know, not being able to sleep, being anxious, not knowing what direction your life was going to go in, not knowing what direction you were going to go in with this person. But that is all done. Like that energy is over with, with this Three of Wands. That's like, all right, my ships are starting to come in. I'm seeing that the tables are turning and good shit is about to come in for me. That's you being very grounded and making up your mind. Like, all right, I see where my life is headed, you know? I see the direction that I'm supposed to go in. Ooh, good, Capricorn. I like that. I like that. That's very good. Oh, with the Five of Cups, someone is so regretful because of this. So sad. The Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Lovers, Gemini energy here, y'all. Um, and I see slow, <clears throat> slow success for you guys. Slow success. Maybe you guys have some new, something new starting. Could be in school. Um, could be learning a craft. Could be learning something, and that's gonna go far. You're gonna be very recognized for that. You could even have someone who is very recognized, someone who's very known, you know, um, who's like moving slowly towards you. Could be a Gemini. Oh, excuse me, I just burped like a damn nasty person. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got coming in. Let's see. Seven of one. Oh, what the? Oh, man, these cards. And I'm sorry if you hear any other noise. You know, I live in an apartment building, so there's not much I could do without about outside noise. So I apologize for you guys, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Unity. Oh, that's such a nice one. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. 
Oh, that's such a nice card. The number 34, which is a seven. So that's seven is July, right? Seven is the month of July. So that could be Gemini, Cancer. Wait, is Gemini in, in July? No, I think it's just Cancer and Leo. My bad. Maybe you guys have Cancer Leo in your chart. Or maybe one is, uh, you know, trying to approach you. And you got the Phoenix energy. That's Scorpio. Wow. Birth card came up twice for you guys on the bottom of the deck. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. And then you have be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. I'm telling you, that devil with that nine of swords, that dark, heavy energy, that shit is about to exit your life. You're about to be so high on high energy, high vibrational energy. All right, before I close with you guys, I want to see what's coming in next for y'all. What's coming in next for the Cappies? I love Capricorns. I always get along with Capricorns. It could be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Rising. I, I've known people with each of those placements, and I get along with each and every one of them. I love Capricorns. All right, let's see. Let's see, y'all. That Ten of Swords trying to come out. Who wants to come out? Ten of Swords, I guess, is good, right? Because that's an ending. So, ending to betrayals and stuff like that. Ending to a hard time. All right, let's see. What's next for my Capricorn? Show me what's next for my Capricorn, man. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles. <gasps> Bitch. First off, look at this combination. Capricorn. I feel like someone has chosen you. They're just in their head about it. Look at these cards. Look at this. I'm telling you, it could be a Gemini trying to come in for you, Capricorn. Or maybe you have that in your chart. Someone has chosen you. Look. This person is stuck in their head. That could be you. That could be the other person. But look how he's watching the, the Queen of Pentacles. And the, the Queen of Pentacles over here focused on her pentacles. She's like, I need to get this money. I need to get this money. I got bills to pay. I got kids to feed. <laughs> and this guy is just like, look at my heart. Look at my woman. The one I'm going to marry. Ooh, Capricorn, man. This is beautiful. Shit. I need to stop cursing. I love this. This, this. I feel like your life is about to transition into a very high vibrational place. Your circumstances are about to turn around. You're about to be very prosperous with this Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful. All right, y'all. I see you guys starting something new and somebody not wanting to let you go. Meanwhile, you focused over here. Focused on your coin. That's what I feel. Nobody focused on this guy, that guy, that guy, that girl, this girl. No. Focused on what I know is always going to be on my side, right? Money. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I mean, that is a Capricorn thing, I got to say. Y'all Capricorns all about your money. So, I ain't even mad at you, right? All right. Well, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this bonus read. Um, until next time, I love you guys so, so much. You don't even understand. Please comment because I love when you guys comment. And a lot of y'all don't be commenting. And I be trying to see, like, why. I'm trying to understand. And I could never understand. But I want to understand why nobody be commenting on my stuff. Well, I'm... I'm I'm dragging it. But, you know, like, some of y'all don't be commenting. But please comment because I love the comments, y'all. Um, but you guys do share the video, so I do appreciate that. And I appreciate the likes, so I, I should shut up. All right. I love you guys so much. Until next time, um, if you guys want a, a personal reading, you want to book a personal reading, the information will be down below. All right. Love you. Bye, Cappies.